Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. This video is for people who are looking to raise capital for real estate funding projects in the USA and it is geared towards those that are looking to raise between 10 million and 100 million dollars. A little bit about myself. I'm a fundraising strategist with 15 years of experience in high-end real estate sales and marketing, spanning Canada, Dubai, and the Caribbean. And over the past two years on Fiverr, I've assisted over 240 clients with startup fundraising, pitch deck refinement, investor outreach strategies, and custom investor databases. In addition, I serve as an advisor to a New York-based global private equity firm with fundraising commitments of $10 million. The fund diversifies across many sectors, including income-producing real estate, and frequently involves capital commitments in the range of $10 million to $20 million for each project. So this video is really focusing on private equity fundraising opportunities uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about the firm. The firm that I'm involved with is based in New York, specializes in the real estate and fintech sectors, yet they continually explore opportunities across various sectors, but my focus is on real estate opportunities. So to, be, to start the video off, what is an investment mandate for a private equity firm? I know many of you who may be watching this may know this already, but for those that don't, just bear with me. We'll get to the other parts real soon. So the investment mandate sets out parameters for the private equity firm's investments, including asset types, geographic regions, sectors, and sizes. It defines the investor's risk tolerance influencing investment decisions. It outlines the firm's investment strategy, covering growth, distressed buyouts, or venture capital. The mandate includes expected return targets or performance objectives, and it specifies the duration of the mandate and any investment holding limitations. And lastly, reporting requirements detail how frequently the firm must update the investors on the investment performance. So those are really important to understand that the firm has a large mandate and and that's what we're going to cover in the next few slides. Just a real quick background. Uh, again, I'm 15 years in real estate sector. That included sales and management roles for large-scale master plan developments. I've managed sales teams that transacted over 5,000 residential units. I've helped raise capital for an 18-tower residential development in Abu Dhabi. I managed sales transaction mandates for a major real estate group in Dubai, and that included hotels, commercial buildings, land for residential development. These included deals totaling over $500 million worth of property to ultra-high net worth and corporate-grade investors. And lastly, I've compiled the ultimate guide to raising real estate capital. I'm going to be offering that to my clients on Fiverr in the next few days. It's a real estate fundraising guide for people that are looking for between $10 million and $100 million. It has over 75 pages and includes everything you need to know if you're looking for information on raising real estate capital. So the fund's background. So the fund is based in New York, specializes in real estate and fintech. And again, I'm just really focusing on the real estate side. They are positioned to support real estate projects financing as well as specialty finance lines of credit or debt with a check size ranging from 10 to $200 million. If you're looking below 10, you can still contact me, but we like to really be in that range because of the size of the fund and the amount of projects that they're going to be working on. Additionally, they engage in Series B and beyond fundraising for companies with 10 million plus ARR. So what's my role? Well, I assist the fund with the initial vetting of real estate investment opportunities based on their criteria, mainly because that's what I've been doing for many years. So it just puts it easy. Plus, I can use my platform on Fiverr to help as well, although this is something that I do usually outside of Fiverr. Now, once I approve the project for a second look, it goes to the fund and they give, will give me back an answer, usually within 24 to 48 hours. At that stage, I let them handle the rest of the process with the real estate group, the real estate group being you if you're the one that's presenting the uh, opportunity. Oh, I forgot to mention they are fast and they know if they want to take the project in a day or two at most and that includes both debt and equity can be considered and this is really really important it's a large fund the people involved with uh, the fund know exactly what they're looking for it's a strict criteria and the reason that you don't get involved with them is because I know what they're looking for and about three out of ten projects get accepted for funding yes that's amazing and it's mainly because they have to go through myself first and again my background allows me to be able to say your project's great but it's not great for us 
So what the fund looks for, this is a good guideline. The investment criteria, usually a minimum investment of $10 million is what you're going to need. So if you need um, that or more, great. Send me the presentation. I'd love to hear about it. Guarantee terms from 15 to 63 months. Min minimum EBITDA, $500,000. Cash flowing positive revenue. Must have collateral assets. Investment backed by hard assets. 10% down payment required. You must have business plan and financials. Please, if you're going to contact me about an investment opportunity, do not just send me a one page or I really need to see something more. Uh, don't worry about things like NDAs and that at this point. Really, what we just want to know is the minimum, the five year. The rest of it can be done later. You're going to have to let us know about proof of funds, but that's really not at my stage. So uh, that's something to really keep in mind. Now, blue ocean opportunities may not need the above criteria. So if it is something that is really what we identify as a blue ocean opportunity, we can look at lower investments than 10 million. In fact, we're looking at uh, a number of opportunities uh, that are considered blue ocean. Other sectors the fund looks for, I'm not going to spend much time, but we look at healthcare technology, business services, fintech, consumer, retail, food and beverages, uh, automation, and uh, climate technology. For more information on my database and fundraising services, click my Fiverr link below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.